Hello, how is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a good day today. So in today's video, I want to talk about dolls reruns and revived witch, like how that system work or the pattern of it. Because you know, when Chameleon had her Dreamland Summon pool, I chose to not go for her because she's not limited and therefore I'll have another chance to get her later. That is what I thought. Boy, was I wrong. Anyways, majority of the dolls are not tied to a specific event, and even if they were, that doesn't mean they'll only get a rerun with that original event that they came out with. Case in point, Tunnel of Night and Nanner. That's why I didn't think that would be a good indicator of whether they'll return or not. And instead, I looked into all the dolls who had gotten their rerun to see if there is a pattern to that whole process and to essentially see the likelihood of her, Chameleon, and other dolls returning. What I found out was kind of baffling, but then again, maybe not if you factor in money. Regardless, I thought all that was interesting and I'm curious to see what everyone thinks of this. So allow me to share with you what I found. I checked all the dolls reruns from the end of year 2021 till the very end of 2022. From my recollection, Global, unlike CN, didn't have in-between dolls. And what I mean by in-between dolls is dolls that are not mentioned in an update note or maintenance note. In other words, in-between event filler dolls. Therefore, the dolls in the note should be all of them. And so here are all the dolls that I got in every run. The first three dolls to have an awakening pool are Tonal, Minir, Caledonia. I'm lumping those three together because that's the first for each of them to have appeared on a patch note, yet their pools are under awakening pool. Perhaps it's because they were in the starter pool, I don't know. I'm not a day one player, so I can't say if those dolls had a pool before that. All I can go off of are the official notes. Then we have Selenia. Her situation is similar to the previous dolls, except she's explicitly stated in the notes to have been an exclusive doll rerun. Now the next two, let me know if I'm misremembering this, but I'm pretty sure that this was their first pool because I was playing the game at that point, so I want to include them. I'm referring here to Cher and Catherine. Next, Minir appears again with Budding Fortune. Then Caledonia again. With Love in Return, there is the first awakening pool for Nanner and Metamorphosis. After that, it's Cher again. Another Catherine pool. And next is Ella. This is her second awakening pool. I didn't count her first because, in case you didn't know, Ella was the first Dream Maelstorm doll. And with Dream Maelstorm dolls, after their monthly time ends, they have their first ever rate up in an awakening pool. So their awakening pool is technically their first. So that's why you won't see other Dream Maelstorm dolls here, because they only had one awakening pool. But yeah, getting back on track, with Ella, Metamorphosis also returned. Then two exclusive dolls reruns, Idol Flora and Sir Saivi. Following that, there were Nanner and Metamorphosis. Next, another exclusive pool with Selenia and Awakening pool for Tunnel of Night. Now nearing the end of the year, there were Tunnel and Kepla. And 
We have a winner! Metamorphosis. Yay! So in summary, that was three starter pool dolls, Tonal, Minir, Caledonia, six non-starter pool dolls, Kapla, Tonal of Night, Catherine, Cher, Nanner, Metamorphosis, Three limited dolls, Idol Flora, Circe Ivy, Selenia, and last but not least, one Dream Millstorm doll, Ella. Putting it that way makes it seem not that bad, like the exclusive that had gotten a rerun were highly requested, so it's good that they have returned, except Idol Flora, no one cares about Flora, Idol or not. But yeah. Outside of that, it's the same dolls over and over again. And to my knowledge, with the exception of Kepla, all the starter and not starter pool dolls also appeared in the petal shop. Yeah, they're inescapable. <laughs> Judging from all of that, I don't expect many dolls variety for 2023, unless we get saved by events. Which is the reason why Ella and Top Rerun Dolls Metamorphosis appeared on here so much because they were involved with a lot of events, um, stories for 2022. But I'm gonna leave it here, sorry if I rambled on too much. Um, so what do you think of all of that? Do you think this dolls rerun pattern will change anytime soon? Or will this carry on to 2023? but with other six dolls appearing over and over again. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Till the next one.